All right, we had a lot of rain on Saturday, and yes. now it looks like we may get a little more. A little bit more. So tomorrow we get uh, some showers, and then a more perhaps meaningful round of rain comes on Thursday. So we've been giving you the first alert to that. With enough rain, we'll have renewed concerns for flooding, and rain certainly something we do not need. This is a look at the top five wettest marches for the Hartford area that date back to 1905. So if the month were to end today, we would already be the third wettest with just over seven inches of rain. We're just about a quarter of an inch away from moving into the second wettest position. That's all gonna be dependent upon, of course, how much rain falls tomorrow, but even more so, of course, how much falls on Thursday. If you're watching Mike earlier today or Scott this morning, uh, the excessive rain outlook, the shade of green was farther west. It has shifted east. So this is some good news for us in the near term, and we hope that this trend continues. Uh, the shift here in models showing, for instance, on the GFS, still a pretty good swath of rain kind of bisecting southern New England. That shading of yellow is where we could see over an inch. But uh, earlier, it was a much more impressive area, much larger area of heavier rain. So that's been shrinking. And also on the European model, it is a shift farther east where the, uh, the Cape, the islands, parts of southeastern Massachusetts and southern Rhode Island would get the bullseye of heaviest rain. Certainly still looking wet here on Thursday and we'll likely see a really sharp gradient from say southeast Connecticut where we see a decent amount of rain to perhaps considerably less as you head farther west and uh, across uh, say Litchfield and Fairfield counties. So right now from Torrington we got a lot of cloud cover that's a common theme as expected for today looking live from stores and as well from along the shoreline in Old Saybrook but scanning within those clouds first alert live radar the only live radar of course here in Connecticut showing that we are dry and as the evening progresses into the overnight hours with this moist kind of onshore flow, this northeasterly wind, we could see some patchy fog and drizzle develop. So roads could be a little bit wet for the morning commute tomorrow, but we're not expecting anything icy as temperatures will remain well above freezing. And there's quite a temperature spread right now across Connecticut from 37 in Putnam to 50 Hartford Meriden, 51 right now Danbury, 48 currently in New Haven. And those winds out of the northeast uh, cont uh, continue at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. So we've had this area of low pressure offshore counterclockwise flow around that providing that northeasterly wind at the same time we've got this front from the west approaching and doing so fairly slowly so uh, overnight tonight 35 to 40 should do it for many communities uh, throughout the day tomorrow a lot of cloud cover we'll see a rising chance for scattered showers during the afternoon into the evening hour so not a washout but a day that will eventually uh, you know you'll need the umbrellas and the the windshield wipers by the evening commute with temperatures though peaking warmer than today into the mid 50s we go inland uh, lower 50s for many communities along the shore Line. So as this front gets closer, basically stalling nearby or just offshore with an area of low pressure riding along it. So if the front stays farther or stalls farther to our east, that would mean less of a rain likelihood for us. Again, from west to east, a pretty sharp gradient here across southern New England. And then as the storm system moves away on Friday, we should see at least some partial clearing through the afternoon hours. So for Friday, still calling for some lingering showers early, some uh, clearing through the afternoon, becoming windy, windy and dry for Saturday. Now the change for the upcoming weekend involves Involves a little disturbance that may pass just to our southwest Saturday night into early Sunday morning. It's quick moving, could generate a couple of showers early Sunday, so maybe dodging some raindrops for sunrise services for Easter, otherwise increasing sunshine. Both days fairly mild in the mid 50s. April starts on a dry and comfortable note on Monday with an increasing chance for rain by next Tuesday.